Tomorrow marks the one-year anniversary since Belay Air Flight 180 exploded and crashed shortly after takeoff from JFK Airport. It's a disaster that's affected many, none more so than Mount Abraham High School, which lost 40 students and four faculty members in the crash. But it was the events after the crash that has turned this tragic story into something even stranger. The survivors who managed to get off the plane before it crashed died soon thereafter in a series of mysterious and bizarre accidents. Now to some, these deaths are just tragic coincidences, but to others, they're an indication that there are more sinister events taking place. That's the contention of uh, tonight's guest. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. <clears throat> and I appreciate you using the word sinister. Most people say supernatural because they think I'm talking about ghosts and witches and stuff like that. Well, here's your chance to set the record straight. So. Great. Okay, well, <clears throat> I believe that there's a sort of force, uh, an unseen malevolent presence that's all around us every day, and it determines when we live and die. And some people call this force the devil, you know, but I think that whole religious thing is... So I prefer to call it death itself. So I'm surrounded by death? Absolutely. Absolutely, every day, everywhere, all the time. And, and that's what I want people to understand, that death has this grand design that we all fit into. So when Alex Browning got off that plane and took the other survivors with him, he basically screwed up death's plan. And, and that's what I'm trying to warn people about. And the fact that all of the survivors have died, is your evidence of this? Well, it's, it's, it's not so much that the survivors died, but it's the way that they died. I mean, there were so many weird, seemingly random things about the way they died, it just didn't make sense. You know, and, and, and that's the proof that there's something out wait, there. Wait, wait, that's not proof. I mean, that is your interpretation of events that can't be proven in order to support your ideas, huh? Yeah, but you should be more open-minded oh, than possible. Oh, what happened after that was just coincidence. May I finish? A mere coincidence would have one or two of these kids die, but not all of them, including their teachers. Yes, but people die all the time, so why should this be any different? It forced people to question these so-called everyday coincidences. What if they were something more? What if you could do something oh, about please. it? Please, are you listening to yourself? I mean, this is crazy. You're saying that we should be on guard every morning when we leave the house? But that's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly it. And in order to survive, the only way to survive is to look beneath the visible world. Because in the end, no one can escape death. And today may be your day to die.